So you might be wondering, well, why do I need to use encrypted email? Well, there are several advantages to using encrypted email over a service like Yahoo, Hotmail, or um, even Gmail. So a couple of reasons why you should use encrypted email. Well, encrypted email often um, are provided by services um, like Tutanota, Postio, and so on. And most of these services don't really require a phone number to even sign up on an account. Um, all of these services provide uh, pretty much end-to-end -end encryption, which means that your emails are secure. Um, there's also a lot more email privacy in that your messages aren't getting read or, you know, indexed for some kind of targeted advertisements and stuff like that. They're not being traded as data as they would with um, Gmail or something. Login is also secured with a lot of these accounts, including two-factor authentication options and stuff like that, although that can be included with some free email providers as well. But some of the cons with encrypted email and stuff like that is usually there's not as much free data involved. So with uh, something like Gmail, you're gonna get like 15 gigabytes for free um, and you have to pay for more storage. But with encrypted email options, you're not gonna get as much data for free. You're usually getting around one gigabyte or so for free. Um, some of these email providers I'm gonna be listing are actually paid only, whereas you know most other uh, Gmail, Yahoo and stuff are pretty much free from the get go. Um, as well as losing some of the Google application uh, convenience. Um, a lot of these free kind of services like Gmail do have a, quite a bit of apps to use and stuff like that. But more and more of these encrypted emails are kind of building up their kind of repertoire of services to make them more competitive. You're gonna find stuff like calendars and stuff like that, some documents and stuff even like that within some of these services. So it's good to see that. So 210 Nota is probably gonna be uh, probably number one on my list. It's a pretty popular um, encrypted email option, very well recommended. Um, there are some pros and cons, which I'll mention in a bit, but um, it's probably one of the most popular options out there. Um, it is run by a small team, but it's pretty future diverse and it has one of the best deals out there if you want to expand your email. So it's going to be pretty much free with a one gigabyte um, storage limit. Monthly plans are going to pay a little bit more. Uh, Tutanota, which is like Proton Mail, um, actually, uh, some people compare it to Proton Mail. But Tutanota actually has more webmail features, um, it, including searching text for your email, which ProtonMail doesn't include. It also has a lower pro price tag for its paid plans than ProtonMail. So 21 gigabytes for Tutanota would be around $5 a month, whereas 20 gigabytes is around $17.50 a month in ProtonMail. So on this list, I'm not going to be listing ProtonMail as a real good option, just because Tutanota seems to be better in every respect, especially regarding pricing. Um, additionally, Tutanota supports bulk email selection, um, and you can export even on their free plans. Um, so with ProtonMail, it's going to be a bit more work um, since you can't pull your emails um, even on the stock email app in your phone. Um, but some of the pros and cons for Tutanota, well, Tutanota has one gigabyte storage free, like I mentioned, it can be expanded with premium plans. Um, everything is encrypted, subject, body, and attachment are all encrypted, has good SSL encryption, has good privacy protection, no automatic loading of images, it stri strips the IP addresses from email sent, warns by issue with senders, headers, info, has anonymous sign up, no phone number included, two factor authentication available in the client. Client apps are fully open source, solid Android and iOS applications, which are getting a pretty good updates lately. Unlimited creation of custom folders supports lots of keyboard shortcuts, can change signature even when in a free account. Bulk email contact uh, available, um, import available. You can receive encrypted replies from your regular email users and you can use a Tutanota domain or your own domain for custom domains. Now, some of the cons are that it only offers one gigabyte of free storage, like I mentioned. Uh, you know, free services like Gmail offer 15 gigabytes, so um, if you have, uh, you're going to have to pay a little bit more to get that storage to be comparable. Of course, you're going to get more security. Um, Two-factor authentication is not yet available in some of the live applications, but does seem to be um, available in beta versions of Tutanota. Um, search of encrypted data is not yet possible in the apps, and it does not support IMAP POP3 and it does not support auto response. So Postio is really cool because it's only one USD or Euro a month. Um, that's gonna be around $1.12 converting to Euro. So you can get uh, Postio for around $12 a year. Postio offers cool things like calendar, contact notes, full encryption, encryption of incoming emails with your private key, 
Um, they also support privacy actions and make um, a good a general kind of a blogging and stance on surveillance. They don't store data and they do support uh, anonymous payment options. Um, some of the pros are that the, the company actually really likes to emphasize kind of like greed and energy and good work environment and stuff like that. So if that's something you're into, um, but in terms of, you know, the more technical things, they opt in server side encryption of email, counter contacts, option to configure E2E with other clients, usually if required, um, uses IMAP over any client on Mac and iPhone and email metadata is also encrypted. Some of the cons are some people notice that Postio doesn't actually include a spam folder. Um, and the company seems to be doing this on purpose because they kind of want you to pay attention to spam and get rid of it instead of just keeping it in the spam folder. Um, you have to have, uh, you can't use your own domain with Postio, um, or as to note, you can have some kind of custom domain. TorGuard VPN is going to be third on my list, and this is the one I personally use, anonymous email. So Postio and Tutanota are pretty good options. Um, but you know, TorGuard's anonymous email is pretty comparable. Uh, it starts off free, including your VPN subscription. You pay a little bit more to get that storage. But one reason I like using TorGuard's anonymous email is because since they're already my main uh, VPN application I use, the anonymous email is included free within. So um, you can pay for more storage, like I said. But anyways, um, the email service is actually quite good. You can see it has a tons of features that you need. Um, secure en en encryption, man and mineral attack protection, um, two-factor authorization. So um, unlike Tutanota, which only has that in beta, Torgrod's uh, email already has that in place. Uh, it's no logs kept. So some of these services like um, Tutanota and stuff, they do actually keep some forms of logs and stuff. So if you really want, you know, the more secure option probably on this list, I would go with Torgrod VPN's anonymous email because they don't collect logs and their VPN offering is outstanding and it's already included within. So go ahead and check that out um, if you're into, you know, the most probably secure option and a very good option indeed. Commandmailbox.org as a decent option since I saw some people talking about it. This is the main page is in German. I don't really think it's worth recommending too much. I think if they wanted to be more of a global presence, they could spend some time on translating the web page here. Um, but anyways, people do think this is a decent option. Maybe if you're in Germany or something like that, um, they do have some decent options, one euro per month and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one, which is, I think is kind of interesting. So if you want a service that looks like it's run by a 4chan troll, then perhaps try cock.li. Now cock.li is a service uh, run by a guy named Vincent Canfield. And a lot of people think he's a pretty good privacy advocate. He has pretty good transparency here on the website where he, he pretty much says you can't trust him and he can read your emails at any time if he wants, but he's not going to do that. Um, Lambo! I, I definitely isn't, you know, the most secure option on this list by any means. It is free though. Um, so I would kind of give you a word of caution about that. Um, but I guess if you want, you know, like a free option that's kind of weird, uh, this could be uh, something interesting to check out. All right, guys, just a little bit of a roundup here. Uh, so, Totunota is a good option. It's free with one gigabyte. Postio is going to be $1 a month uh, for $12 a year. Not free, but also a pretty good option uh, there. Now, TorGuard VPN email um, is going to be free, included with your TorGuard subscription, with uh, options to upgrade for more storage. Mailbox Ord is a German uh, kind of encrypted email provider that also is around one dollars a month or one euro a month cock.li is uh, maybe not quite as secure as other options a little bit questionable but it is free as well anyways guys thanks for checking out this video and i'll see you again on the next video